What's up, guys? Sir All About Music here, back for another track review. Um, two things before I get to Endless Nameless. I, yeah, I'll be starting a new discography in February. I'm not going to tell you what you tell you guys what it is. You're just going to have to wait and see. Um, but it's a pretty cool band. I can tell you that, and it's not going to take very long either. Um, this is actually it's one. It's it's probably my yeah. It's one of my favorite bands of all time. So. It's gonna it's gonna be a lot of fun. I, I hope you guys will enjoy it. And uh, link in the sidebar to this guy's channel, Capitalist Agenda. Capitalist Agenda uploads crazy underground, um, just weird music, beautifully, just orgasmically weird music. And I've been watching him for about a month now. And every single video, every single song that he has uploaded, every single video that he's made. I have just loved. I've loved it to death. He's fantastic. So go check him out. You know, go give the stuff on on his channel a listen because I think it. it, it, it I think you guys will like it. Um, it's just it's it's a, it's some amazing stuff. So yeah, capitalist agenda. Go check him out. So endless nameless. If you guys watched my Nevermind review. You'll know that I hate the album, and the main reason I hate the album is because of the production. I think the production kills the the raw power of the songs. Uh, Endless Nameless is the antithesis to the whole listening experience of Nevermind, in my mind. It, it, it is just, it, like the song is so brutal, it's so uncontrolled, and it's so full of, of power and rage that it... You know, you, it doesn't matter how pretty you try to make the production, you can't tame this song. You just can't. There's too many, there's too many brutal, uh, um, violent aspects to it. You can't, you can't do anything other than to just let it go where it, where it wants to go. And that's what I love about this song. I mean, you listen, you listen to Nevermind, and you experience that whole polished sound. Um, and at the end, you're just, uh, and then you hear Endless Nameless, and it totally fucking blows you away. Uh, th 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 I mean, there's a couple of things that make this, this, this song so brutal. The sandpaper distortion on this guitar. I mean, listening to, to Kurt's gu distorted guitar on this track is like having sandpaper rubbed in your ears. It's, it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. And the fact that he doesn't really have any kind of solid melody either to his riff or to his vocal line, and he doesn't sing. He alternates between screaming and moaning. I mean, the two basic primal sounds that a human throat can make. Um, it, it completely uncontrolled. No, no rules are followed here or anything. Um, it, it, it is, and it's noisy. And I mean, that right there should tell you why I love it. Um, it is noisy as fuck. It is, yeah. So, Endless Nameless. Fantastic track. Um, so you got these, these, really you have like three separate things going on here. You got the riff where it's Kurt's distorted guitar and his riff is just switching between this, this kind of low sound and then way up the neck, screeching, screeching bends on, on these high notes. It's, it's wonderful. And on top of that, Dave's just, you know, fucking around on the snare, and Kurt's screaming, and it's, it's just, it's, it is a wall of brutal noise just hitting you and hitting you and hitting you. And I love that about this 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 track. I, I absolutely fucking love it. And then you get these parts where the band kind of takes it down, and Kurt switches to this this chorus effect on his guitar, and he's just mumbling and moaning again. No real solid melody. There's a resemblance of a melody, but no real solid you know melody truly. Uh, and even though that part is softer and m more you know reserved, it's still it still contains the kind of of chaos that the whole song has. It's just utterly, utterly chaotic. And then you get to the solo section, which is just a big. It's about three minutes of you know fuck all, pretty much. And it's it's unadulterated, manipulated feedback. 
that's basically what what the solo is and it's amazing it's absolutely fucking fantastic i love it um this this you know this is one of my favorite songs this is definitely probably my number 2 favorite song on nevermind and the reason it isn't my number 1 is because i think it's too long i like what the the idea that the band had here it, it, for me, this track is them, you know, venting all their anger without trying to control it. Just letting, just letting their emotions take them, you know, to this giant chaotic place. You know, there's no, there's no attempt to control the emotion of the music on this track, and I love that about it. But I think they overstate their statement here. Um, there's, and I, you know, this is usually my problem with long songs. I don't think there's enough meat in the song to justify it being six, six, six and a half minutes. I really don't. I, I just don't feel that's there. Uh, if it would have been maybe a minute shorter, five and a half minutes, I could have dealt with that. Five minutes, I definitely could have dealt with that. And it, it, that would have made it my favorite song on the track. But, you know, I get into it, and I'm really, yeah, 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 yeah. And then about about five minutes in, I'm like, all right, okay. All right. Come on. Yeah. That kind of thing, you know? Um, it's not a, and I'm not saying that it's a bad track. It's an awesome track. I'm just saying, for me, it's a little too long. Um, I say, you know, and that's usually what happens with me. They're just, I don't think there's enough meat in this track to justify its length, honestly. Um, but, that aside, this track is almost perfect. I mean, almost perfect. And like I said, it's a complete antithesis to the Nevermind listening experience, and is really more in keeping with the stuff that you would hear on In Utero, except, you know, and yes, it, yeah, it is. It, you know, and it's got that, that really dark quality to it that In Utero has, too. I mean, Nevermind's production just kind of takes that takes the the dark, moody quality out of some of these songs too, you know. And you find that you find that really dark quality of of the sound on In Utero a lot, and I think Endless Nameless fits pretty much in tune with that. So that's what I gotta say. Um, this track, oh, the track was requested by Philip Thundergrunch, of course. Philip Thundergrunch, who's awesome. Um, he got me into Fudge Tunnel, which, by the way, is a great band. Anyway, I'm rambling. Uh, Endless Nameless. 9 out of 10. Easy 9 out of 10. Uh, it's just the length that's keeping it from being a 10, really. The length, yeah. That's, that's all. That's all for me. So, yeah, um, leave a link in the sidebar to it. Because uh, I'm kind of over my time here. Sorry this video was so long. Sorry all about music. I'll see you guys next time.